In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to this recent interview that Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, also known as Tupac's ex-girlfriend, or scratch that, I'm not even entirely sure if they were actually officially together, but I do know, according to Google, they say they were close friends and they went to the same high school in Baltimore. They never really were in an official relationship and they've denied all the speculations of them ever being in a romantically involved relationship with each other. But in hindsight, given the facts of everything we know right now, I mean, come on, do we really still believe that they've never did anything with each other? Just looking at this photo, a woman is not going to embrace you like this unless you're her brother, her father, her gay best friend, or her romantic lover. I mean, come on. They were both in their early 20s back then. Are we really going to sit here and act like this photo right here with Tupac kissing her cheek and her looking kind of awkward, but you know she's loving it, doesn't indicate the fact that they had something way deeper than just a basic ass friendship, especially with now in recent times, Jada saying that she pretty much was in love with this man and she regretted not being with him and that he was her first love and even went on to actually allow her young daughter to write a personal personalized letter to Tupac after him being dead for nearly 30 years while she was currently married to Will Smith. I mean, what more evidence do we need? So many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. So if that's the case, why the hell did Will Smith get up last year at the Oscars, was it? Screamed out, Keep my wife's name out your got up, walked on stage, and slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. What the hell was all of that about? If you guys were truly separated since 2016, why did this man get so emotional, call you his wife, and actually decided to ruin his entire career and image by assaulting another man in front of tens of millions of people watching that award show all over the world that night? What was the point of all of that if you guys were separated and you were cheating on him before with a man in his mid-20s, letting him cause a 0.7 magnitude earthquake on them cheeks, arguing and posting fights and having in this red table talk as if you guys were going through marriage counseling what was all of that literally embarrassing will smith the entire time but in public the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage over the next several years jada and will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple so why do that like what was the reason i think just not being ready yet mm still trying to figure out between the two of us i'm sorry that's just bullshit not being ready for what you're both rich you both can afford different properties both your kids were old enough to understand the situation if you probably explained it to them and if you're gonna use the excuse we stay together for the kids well then i mean how did that turn out both your kids are fully certified weirdos clearly they're mentally traumatized by whatever the hell was going on in that house because willow done got about a dozen different piercings and shaved her head like a half a hundred times Jaden is always on Twitter and Instagram posting depressing ass posts and wearing dresses and don't even know what gender he wants to be. Will Smith on that red table talk was looking like he was just ready to end it all. Didn't know what the hell he was living for. And turns out this entire time Mans was actually competing with a dead man that he could never live up to based on the ideals she had in her own head. Let the roles have been reversed boys and girls and watch how the public would have annihilated him. During our walk in Baltimore, Jada reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, well, why it fractured? That, that's a lot of things. Yeah. And I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. Yeah. How to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people, you know? And we hadn't figured that out. Nah, bro. I think Will figured it out, but I think you, on the other hand, were keeping this man trapped because you already know if he ever decided to break up with you, like legitimately just cut it off clean and disassociate himself with you, you probably would have went scorched earth on him. You would have probably hired a bunch of lawyers, got full custody of the kids, destroyed this man's finances and his name and his image. And Will being soft, you know he wouldn't probably fight back against you because he's a big old teddy bear who doesn't seem to be that tough of a guy. Bro would have probably just took everything up the ass with no lube and just said, fuck it. I guess this is my life now. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. 
and I just haven't been able to break that promise. Wow. So what I'm hearing is that this is all based on ego and pride. She doesn't want to get a divorce. She doesn't want that on a record. She doesn't want to have to be grouped up with the hundreds of other celebrities who've gotten married and divorced. She wants a clean record. And regardless of how unhappy the relationship becomes, she will just never concede to the fact that this relationship has ended up in complete failure. And Will Smith, I'm sorry, bro. As much as you are a victim, you still have to stand up for yourself as a man, bro. Please grow a spine. You should have a backbone and stand up to this woman man like everybody at this point is on your side we're all rooting for you but it's just like we can't do anything we cannot change your life if you don't want to change yours dude please set yourself free this isn't even my life but the fact that this is my job and i see it constantly and i have to talk about it has kind of gotten me a little invested in the well-being of this man because i love his projects i love his movies i love the fresh prince tv show used to watch that when i was a kid will smith is a phenomenal actor loved him in independence day i am legend i robot hancock the pursuit of happiness pitch like yo will smith is a funny ass dude and at this point he's goaded but it's unfortunate that he just had to let this this leech this piranha this demon ruin his life reputation and career but anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions down below like sub to the channel if you're new turn on all notifications and yeah a new video tomorrow